Welcome back. This is another mail call, number 12 in fact. I haven't been making any um, recordings because I had to do some stuff with this machine. Uh, OS update, had some issues with OBS. And darn it, I was doing a flash binge watching on Netflix. Tisk tisk tisk. But anyway, so I finally got, it's only taken a year and a half. That's right, a year and a half for this humble bundle final piece from Paezo Games. It's supposed to be the miniature figurine thingy. Let's see if I can get this box open. Uh, I think NAS is required to get this U.S. Postal Service box open. Let's see. There we go. So these are the miniatures. Yep. Piazzo. Well, that was a thrill. It only took a year and a half to get it. Uh, now, remember these little programming boards, these guys? Well, I've got a variant of it here this one uh, no 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 I stand corrected this is a uh, network no it is I'm right I'm right I'm right let's open it up this guy let's get it out of the bag uh, uh, there we go yeah so this guy uses an FT232RL and provides a lot more programming control. So you got things like CTS, RTS, DTR, DSR, that sort of thing. Besides the usual data transfer stuff. So there's transfer, there's receive, there's ground, there's VCC. Why do they always put these things on a bit crooked? Yeah, uh, well. But when you're programming those minis, uh, normally you have to hold the reset key down in order to get the programming to start. This supposedly eliminates that because then you can wire the one extra wire from it to, I believe it's the DTR pin on here, and this will program it without needing to hit the reset key. Well, we'll find out later how much that it actually works. Anything else in the bag? Nope. Okay, next item. Okay, this is another item kind of like this one here provide power but this one happens to have a switch and stuff on it and instead of these connectors right here they happen to have these guys right here see little pressure release guys Now, combined with using these guys, I saw this on another electronics channel. I really like the idea. So you put some stiff wire in here, and you put it into here, like this. And the result is you have an easy thing to put power in. So they were not expensive, so I bought like four of them. And I wanted this too because it has an on off switch. And then I can use it for my cob light over here. And then I can don't have to actually try to unplug it all the time from the power bar just to turn it off. Wow. 
you'd think they do something with the packaging. Well, that's more toys over there. And I will beef it up too with um, my supply of heavy duty diodes here for the rectifier part. I think I might have to do that. But I'm not 100% sure. I have to open one of those up. Because sometimes these guys will come with a a rectifier that has four pins in it. It's already done. It's one module, right? Instead of using four diodes. Now this, remember I let the smoke out? Well, I went and got another board. But I said while I was getting the board, I might as well, this board. So you can see this board is very similar to the last board. The last board had, you know, this stuff all plugged into it already. This one doesn't. But it's the same stuff. HDMI, VGA, composite. Right? Uh, just a sec. I'll go get it. Some noise as I put this back on the old ear. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, they're very close. This one has the ribbon capability on it, and something else up here. See, there's a, a jack in there. But if you look on the back of these, yeah, turn them around. See, two AV, one VGA, one HDMI. This one says TTL 50 pin LVDS. And this one says LVDS ACC. And then it says PC board 99 version 9, PC board 196 version 6. They're very close to being almost the same boards. Just some slight changes in the board. Which means I should be able to take all this cabling, put it on here, and try it out on that LCD again. It's amazing how they um, uh, sand off the labeling on the chip. Now, I'm pretty sure I know why I blew the board. Um, I let the magic smoke out right there. Now, when I was plugging the HDMIs in, I didn't pay attention to which HDMI. So on my bench, I've got an HDMI coming from my monitor. So I can flip over to the digital side and look at you know my Raspberry Pi or something like that. And then I had another sh cable sitting on the desk, right? And what I did is I inadvertently plugged the monitor's cable into here. And that's like putting um, two outputs together. So I'm pretty sure that's where the frying voltage came from. I will be a little more careful next time when I do this. But I did find out these basic boards like this, you can have them as cheap as about 12, 14 bucks. Yeah, I know. It's like, wow. So you have to put all the cables on, and they supply all the cables in here. But this kit for $26 or $28, I can't remember what it was, right, had a bonus in it. And there are lots of varieties of this. Unroll, unroll, and you can guess what I'm unrolling here. I'll give it away right there. So let's see, doink, 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 plastic, 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 plastic. This, as you can see, is a little LCD panel. This goes for this. So we just have to find the right side which is this.
Ah, oh, that's a tight fit. Let's try the other end. There we go. And then this end goes over here into this end. So this is the controls for the screen. And then we put in this. Now I just have to tip glass so I'm going to look at this edge connector. So how do they do it? Ah, uh, okay. So put the edge into here. There. Snug as a bug. Now, what do I have here? Okay. No, 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 not the probes. Let's get this out of the way. I'm looking for... I should have an extra one. I've Did not put it over here? I have the one in the monitor. And I didn't put it over there. Didn't put it on there. BNC cable. Hmm. What did I do with it? Remote power. Oh. Oh, that's the monitor's one. Let's throw it in a drawer. I have a tendency to throw things around and uh... Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm going to have to find it, but uh, I want to find the HDMI cable and hook it up. And I don't know where I placed the damn cable. But that is it for mail call. I think I got everything. Yep, that bag's empty. And nothing more in the cardboard box. That's empty. So, I'll do another video just on this guy again. See if I don't do Mark II, remove the smoke from the chip. Hopefully I haven't. Oops. So, see you next time.